Okay, so here is ankle cast number two. I'm going to try and make it a little bit quick because I have less time before I make it to work. I had to start this one in the middle uh, of my drive. Um, but uh, yeah, I just got back last night from the New Media Expo where Rish and I spoke as part of a panel with Abby Hilton and L. Scribe Harris. And then there was also another panel there that was at the same expo that was Renee Chambliss, Brian Lincoln, and Marshall Latham on the panel. Um, it was a pretty good time because, you know, we met up with all these people and were able to hang out with them and podcast nerd out with them, uh, which is pretty much what we did. We hung out together, you know, we went out to eat together, but also things that, like, nobody else would find uh, to be the thing to do while you're in Vegas, which was set up a bunch of microphones in a hotel room and sit and record stories. Um, but we did that, and we were stoked about it, and we thought it was awesome. And uh, <clears throat> those are all coming up for you. I hope uh, you're excited. Uh, we got a whole episode that we did, both the uh, story itself and then the post-story chatter was the whole group in the room together, um, which was really cool. It, w- it was fun to see the process uh, play out. It was fun to be able to be directed and to direct people that were in the room with me. Uh, Most of the time when we do this, we just send somebody a PDF with, you know, lines highlighted in a certain color and say, these are your lines, read them and send them back, and they just read them with nobody else to tell them what to do. They just come up with it, and we can't tell them, hey, no, that was wrong. Do it this way. Sometimes, I mean, if it was really bad, we'll say, hey, we need this one redone. Although usually the only time we'll ask for a retake is if the quality was, uh, had some sort of an issue or something like that, I don't know, don't ask for retakes very often, but uh, most people will give us several takes to choose from, which makes that uh, pretty unnecessary, Um, but yeah, it was fun, it was really cool, Uh, aside from that, we went out to karaoke together, Uh, we tried to have a Dune Steve get-together, which uh, didn't work out, um, very well because we scheduled it at a place that in fact did not have karaoke and then we couldn't find that place when we finally found it we were already an hour late for the uh, get together and then there was no karaoke there for us to even meet at so um, we wound up going somewhere else that did have karaoke and having a good time that night but unfortunately we were unable to meet with anybody that I know there was two or three people at least in Vegas that were saying, oh, I wish I could have come, but it's a good thing that they didn't, because they probably would have still not uh, managed to meet us, and then they would have just been irritated for having spent their time driving around and looking for us. Uh, Anyway, so yeah, we had a good time (coughs) in Vegas. Uh, As far as my goals that I talked about in the last Angle cast, um that I set up, uh, the Vegas trip did kind of destroy all those, uh, I worked on them for the first two days, uh, you know, the first day I was pretty good and, uh, faithful, the second day I was somewhat faithful, the third day I was like, oh, I want to do this other thing instead, I know I should be writing and stuff right now, but I got all these pictures, I have these pictures, that I haven't seen, like, in 15 years. I just recently got a negative scanner. It's a slide scanner slash negative scanner, and I have a bunch of pictures that I've never... uh, I didn't get them developed, like, completely. I got the negatives, but I never actually had prints made of them. So I have all these pictures that I've never seen, and I was dorking out, geeking out, or whatever you want to call it, uh, looking at these pictures... And I didn't feel like riding, and so I didn't. And then after that, it was my daughter's birthday, and then it was off to Vegas. And so I really ran low on time 
to be riding, so it's time for me to get back on the horse today and get riding, um, which hopefully I'll be able to do. I'm, I've got, you know, blog stuff that I've got to do with this, all the, the stuff that I wanted to report on this new media expo, because I've got... I've got video of karaoke, I've got video of live story readings, I've got pictures uh, that go with stuff, and I think our uh, our panel was recorded. I know that at least Abby ran a, a recording of our panel, but the New Media Expo is also supposed to have run a recording, which I would assume would be from the mics that we spoke into, so it might be even nicer. Um, but one way or another, I'll make sure that you guys can all hear our panel and hopefully uh, Marshall Latham, uh, Renee, uh, and Brian's panel. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll try and get all that stuff, but I also want to try to do writing at the same time. And on top of that, I do a blog for just my family because we have, you know, grandma and grandpa that live out of the country, etc that like to keep abreast of their grandchildren and I still haven't even gotten to Christmas uh, on that blog yet so I need to pick that up too uh, tough to try and catch up when you're uh, doing too many things but I'm not going to let it all uh, overwhelm me and keep me from doing the riding I'm going to work on the riding for sure, guaranteed today as well. So anyways, that is uh, what has happened this week. Um, and uh, <coughs> can't decide what the best way to do things are. Should I write? You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to tell one story about the uh, New Media Expo, although it doesn't really have anything to do with the New Media Expo. Oh, darn, I got something in my throat that just keeps making my voice crack. Um one adventure that happened on the, while we were in Vegas on this ankle cast, and then the rest will be all bloggy. So here's the story of the dead mouse. Okay? So, <coughs> Rish and I didn't stay in the hotel uh, where the New Media Expo was. Um, we Rish has relatives in Vegas, so we just stayed at their house. And... Um, it was a little interesting for me because, you know, I don't know Rish's relatives. He knows them fine. But to me, um, they're complete strangers and I'm a complete stranger to them. So, um, you know, staying in someone's house that you're a complete stranger to, you have to try and be maybe extra polite and that kind of stuff because, you know, they don't know you. They don't owe you. I don't know what the, the, the feeling is, but, you know, you feel like you need to be extra polite at least. And so we got there, and they showed me this room that I was going to be sleeping in, and it's uh, a new room that they'd added on into the garage. Part of the garage was now a bedroom. And so they're like, here you go, you're going to be sleeping in here. And um, it was time for bed, so uh, I turned off the lights, and I got in the bed. And... I'm laying in the bed, and I, I got this weird smell. I'm like, what is that smell? It's, it's a weird smell. So I finally, I, I it, it kept hitting my nose, and it was just bad, and I was trying to ignore it. And then finally, I'm like, no, i got to figure out what the heck. So I get up, and I flip up the covers, and I look around, and it looks like there is a bunch of itty-bitty little droppings on the sheet. And I'm just like, these are really, really small. They look like they could even be dead bugs or something like that. Maybe, I, I actually thought maybe this bed has bed bugs in it. And they didn't know that. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. I'm looking. I don't see anything but these droppings. There is one little spot on the sheet. And I go over and I smell the spot. And I'm like, whoa, that's the spot where the bad smell's coming from. And I'm just like, uh okay, what do I do? I don't want to go and wake up the, the people. So I'm like, I'll, I'll try. And I took, I, I get into my uh, bag of stuff that I brought and I'm like, okay, here's like some uh, 
cologne stuff and I'd spray this cologne stuff onto the spot to see if that would make the bad smell go away. And I brushed all the droppings off of the sheets. I'm like, okay, this is clean. I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't have to sleep where the spot was. The spot was on the other side of the bed from where I was laying. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll probably be okay. I was afraid to go and, you know, bug uh, people and, and, and look like an ungrateful jerk that, you know, I'm getting a free room to sleep in. And I'm like, yeah, well, it smells funny. So <laughs> I didn't say anything. And I got back in bed and the cologne was sort of masking the bad smell, but not completely. And so I just, I, I tried to ignore it, but I kept imagining bed bugs crawling all over me and biting me. And I'm just thinking, oh gosh, am I going to wake up in the morning covered in little bug bites? Uh, and I started just freaking out. And the more I thought about it, the more freaked out, the more I imagined, like, feeling of something crawling on me and all this stuff. I was, you know, of course, I thought that was really happening. And finally, like, ah, okay. I get up again, flip open the covers, turn on the lights, and I look. And I'm looking around, and I don't see any bugs. I don't see any bed bugs or anything like that. Um, and then my gaze wanders over to the other side, and there's a dead mouse on the sheet, just laying there, dead mouse. Oh my gosh, there was a dead mouse in that bed. And I realized that that dead mouse, the spot that smelled funny was where the dead mouse was. And I think when I flipped the cover up, the dead mouse stuck to the top sheet and went up with the cover, so I didn't see it the first time. But then when I flipped it back down and flipped it back up, that was enough to jar it off of there. Because there was a spot on the top sheet also, just like the one on the bottom sheet. And, and now, of course, at this point, the dead mouse is more than I can handle. I can't just not wake people up. So I, I go out. I'm trying to think, how can I clean this up? But I still, I don't want to wake up my hosts. I'm just trying to get Rish uh, awake so he can help me. Maybe we can do this without, you know, making an embarrassment out of this. Because I don't want to, now that, you know... Uh, Having a dead mouse in the bed of somebody you had over to provide the hospitality to has got to be super embarrassing. So I'm trying to figure out a way that we can do this without embarrassing her. Uh, and and I go, I don't even know which room Rish has been led to to sleep in. So I go and I'm like at the bathroom and I see they have like baby wipes there. And so I grabbed a couple of baby wipes that I figured I could use to dispose of the mouse with. I could grab it with those. And then I'm standing there in the hallway thinking, okay, which room is Rish in? And should I? And it's, it's really late at night already by this point because we got there pretty late after the first night of the convention. And I'm standing there and I'm just like, uh, should I call Rish's name out loud? Uh, I think I could hear somebody actually snoring in one room, so I don't want to wake him up. I'm just freaking out. Finally, I'm just like, okay, maybe I can just deal with it myself. I go back into the room uh, with the wipes, and I'm just like, okay, just need to pick this thing up. And then Rish comes in. He's like, hey, were you looking for me, man? And I was like, oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> and he sees the mouse, and he's like, yeah, gross. And he goes and gets his aunt and his aunt came in she's like oh my gosh i'm so sorry about that so she wound up getting embarrassed anyways um unfortunately but uh yeah we got rid of the mouse we changed the sheets and then i was able to sleep without freaking out and imagining bed bugs and so forth so I guess in the end everything was all right, but yeah. That was one of my wonderful experiences at the New Media Expo, which had nothing to do with the New Media Expo, it just had to do with a house in Las Vegas where I was staying. But uh, there was some more fun things like that, um, and uh, hopefully I'll remember to talk about them all. I don't know how much uh, I'll talk about them with Rish on the show. We were planning on doing... Uh, 
we took my tablet that I'm recording this on and we recorded episodes of the two of us talking back and forth on the way to the New Media Expo and we planned on recording some on the way back and then I stupidly forgot to bring my charger for this tablet and so the tablet died and apparently no Best Buy, no anything in the uh, universe carries a Samsung Galaxy Tab charger because uh, it's got this stupid little proprietary, you know, plug-in that is uh, unusual and hard to get a hold of. So, yeah, couldn't find one anywhere, and I was unable to get this thing recharged. And so we didn't have power to record anything on the way back. So, I don't know, maybe we'll do a, a That Gets My Goat that is a post-show thing, and maybe I'll tell this mouse story again, I don't know, but, um, I guess we'll see, um, next time I will be a better traveler, and I will learn to, uh, bring chargers with me, I forgot the charger for my phone, too, I'm really good at that, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up here, I promise to do better at, uh, getting my writing done this week. I will see if I can get started on that story now, get my my pre-plan totally done and get started on it so that uh, I can start giving a word count for the week. Um, And uh, yeah, I'm going to sign off. Uh, I mentioned this in a uh, in a That Gets My Goat that recorded on the way out but uh, there was a a book that I read where they were talking about, you know, if you want to achieve your goals, etc., you know, you need to start referring to yourself as what you want to be and not uh, denigrating yourself. Say, Don't say that you're a wannabe author or if you're a fat person you want to be skinny. Don't say you're a fat person. Don't talk about yourself like that. Talk about what you want to be. So I'm going to sign out and say, see you later, everybody. Goodbye from Big Anklevich, author. Talk to you later. Talk to you next time. Bye.